Welcome back to the Driving Jump Seaters. This is TJS1, Marcus with his little boy Isaiah. And we are continuing our boys day out. And today we're going to be at the San Diego Safari Park, hanging out, just doing what boys do. So in the meantime, hey Joe, why don't you roll that intro? Isaiah, we are looking at our pink flamingos. That's our first stop, huh, Babas? Yes, the pink flamingos. Isaiah wanted to see the birdies. Take care of this zoo in Safari Park, which is pretty cool. So here at the Safari Park, they are open. They're doing social distancing. You must make a reservation and have a ticket prior to entering. So it keeps the park super empty and very much enjoyable. The weather is beautiful in Escondido right now. So if you're in Escondido, Safari Park's where you need to be. Like nobody here. Beautiful. Huh, Bubba's? Are we having fun at the zoo? Yeah. Here we are at the tiger trail. Whoa, are we gonna go see some tigers? Yes. Shall we go see some tigers? Let's go see some tigers. Oh, bless you, little man. We are on the tiger trail. Dun, dun, dun. Tiger trail with tigers on it. So far, two tigers are out. Oh, it's up there. Just walked by the top corner there. Oh, here comes that kitty, Bubba. There's that kitty. Wow, look at that tiger. That is so cool. Big, huh, Bubba? That's a big kitty. There's another tiger. Did you see the kitty, Papa? Did you see another kitty? That was a big kitty, huh? There was three tigers on the tiger trail today. So in case you're wondering, three tigers. It's pretty awesome. Do we see the waterfall? Should we go check out the waterfall? Yeah? Alright, let's look at the waterfall. Wow, Oh, 
right? A condor ridge. Let's go see some birds. Nobody on the trail today. And all on the trail, they grow some plants to help with the butterflies. Pretty cool, huh, Bubba's? Welcome to the new San Diego Zoo Safari Park Native Nectar Garden. All right, so here we are. We're going on to the Condor Ridge Trail. We're going to go up to the top and see what the condors look like and see the view that they have when they fly. So it's a pretty good walk. So if you're not into walking, Condor Ridge is not for you. But uh, let's check it out. Hey, Bubba, here we are, the toucan. Do you see the birdie? There's a toucan in there. <gasps> there he is. You see him? Oh, you can see the birdie. Uh, there's the toucan. Toucan. Do you see that birdie, Bubba? Yes. And here's the view that you can see. Condor. The desert bighorn sheep, along with the condors. See him. There's the lone condor. Somewhere up there on the rock. As you can see, the beautiful cactus park. Very pretty trail. Great for walking. Get your steps in. Hi, huh, Isaiah. How are we on the trail? We're gonna go see some kangaroos. Let's go see some kangaroos, little man. All right, here we are at the walkabout for Australia. We're gonna see some kangaroos. Let's go this way. Let's go find those kangaroos, bubbies. So this is the pathway that leads to you to walk about for the kangaroos. When we get there, we'll show you what it looks like. Inside the restaurant, at the top, looks like the indoor seating has come back, spaced out, six feet apart. Pretty cool. They have really good beer up here. So we just got our ticket to see the platypus for 11.30. It's about half an hour from now. It's pretty cool, they only let people in at a time so you can actually view the platypus. So it's a great, great, great thing. Um, in the meantime, while we're waiting, we're going to go check out the Bonsai Pavilion and look at bonsai trees. Here we are in the Bonsai Tree Park. Reminds me of Karate Kid. <laughs> Daniel's son. <laughs> Sell little trees, little man. It's a very beautiful park. Trees ranging from 900 years old to 200 years old, just planted. And they kind of show you how they grow them. They have them put down with rocks, shaping the trees the way they're supposed to be. It's a beautiful little park. We'll take some pictures of the coolest trees, how you can see them. As you can see, this tree is about three to 400 years of age. Pretty cool. Very small compared to my hand. <laughs> Snack time here with the boys day out. Isaiah is enjoying his yogurt bites. Yes. Are they good, Bubba's? Yes. Enjoy those yogurt bites. You want some more, Bubba's? Snack time. Yeah, Bubba's. Ah, are you talking to our fans? Yeah. Nom, 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 nom. We're just sitting here waiting on the platypus. at the platypus spot you can get your tickets here that's where you get your platypus tickets and once you get your tickets you go over here and that's the platypus exhibit right there you just get in line and enjoy and now you're in the platypus exhibit Wow. Ooh. 
They're gonna see Perry. See if we see Perry. There he goes. Pretty cool. Now we're on the trail to the outback to go see the kangaroos, Isaiah's favorite. Well, let's see if they're out today. Um, you can't really get to them and close touch them unless they're on the trail, but even then you can't really touch them. But you can see them and we'll see if they're out on the trail today. Let's take a look. Here we are in the kangaroo exhibit. <gasps> Bubbles, look, there's a little one. What is that? Kangaroos. So we're just hanging out down under, going to the kangaroos. You gonna go see some kangaroos with them, yeah? Let's see if they're out today. Yeah? Hey, look, Bubba, there's one right there. So we just gotta stay on the trail. We get to walk around and see all the kangaroos, huh, Bubba's? Kangaroos, kangaroos. Say, where are the roos? Isaiah, where are the roos? Where are the roos, Bubba's? <laughs> Here we are in the outback. Yeah, Bubba's! Looking for some kangaroos. Let's go find the kangaroos, huh? Yeah, gotta stay on the path though. Now we're just gonna continue on through the outback and we're gonna head back down to the main section of the park. Head over to the other side where there are lions and ellies and quite a few other animals. And we'll, uh, we'll see you when we get there. Mom, I see something. And we're now leaving the walkabout Australia. So here's how they have some rescue animals. You can see what they're doing. They're taking care of them in their cages. It's pretty cool. And so when COVID is not going on, they have a petting zoo here for the kids. However, during COVID it's closed because we don't want to spread the germs around. But do come back when COVID is done, check out the petting zoo. Here's the animals from the petting zoo. There's still quite a few things closed due to the COVID virus, but once the COVID virus is done, there's all kinds of things. There's a petting zoo, there's a bat enclosure, there's an African tram, uh, there's zip lining. You can spend the night here in camp. I mean, it's awesome. You gotta check it out. So the restaurant's back open. You can actually sit here and eat, overlook, and see everything. It's pretty awesome. Here we are at the Mumbasa Cooker. This is some great food. You gotta check it out. Um, it's probably my favorite place to eat here at the Wild Animal Park, and um, I'll show you why once I get my food. So you order your food, and they give you one of these. You wait for it to be picked up, contact with delivery, and enjoy. So here we are at our lunch place. Uh, Isaiah's having his lunch. How about us? Have some lunch. Um, nom, 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 nom. <laughs> now that Isaiah ate his lunch, now we're going to show you why Mubasa Cookery is my favorite. So I ordered the three-piece chicken wing, or chicken wing, chicken strips, I should say. And this is with Thai ginger. Oh, it's so good with tater tots. Check this out. It's got a wasabi aioli, Thai ginger, tater tots, delicious. And of course it's topped off with IPA, can't go wrong. So if you're ever here at the Safari Park and you have a place to eat, Mombasa Cookery, top. I love it, it's my favorite, it's great. And you must watch out for the wildlife. This is Bob. He's always here trying to take your chicken. Go away, Bob. 
You're not getting my chicken today. Bubba's, is that good? Mmm, cheese puffs. Are you having good cheese puffs? Say hi. Isaiah. Cheese puffs! And now to the gorillas. Now we're on the path to see the gorillas. It's one of the favorite things here. They, they're so playful most of the time. Let's see if they're out playing around today. to the lemurs. Lemurs! So before COVID, you could go play with the lemurs, but during COVID, the lemurs are just here for you to view. And if you look, there are two of them right there. Lemurs! So come back when it's not COVID, and go play with the lemur. Now we're heading to the African walk. Unfortunately, the tram is not running, but you can still do the walk. You can go see some animals. I think Pumbaa's over there. And a couple other ones. And then the lions, of course. We're going to go to the lions. So when COVID's not going on, this will lead you to the African tram. The tram will take you out to the actual out land out there where you can see the animals roaming free. They come up to your car and you can check them out. It's pretty awesome. I recommend it when COVID's not going on. Here we go. Let's go check it out. So here we are at the Safari Park. We're at the Outlook. Oh, so the Overlook, I should say. And you can see all over the tram would take you and all the private tours and stuff like that. I'm going to show you what it looks like. But uh, closed during COVID. Open when the COVID's done. I recommend coming check it out. It's beautiful. Now you're in the elevator that takes you from level two down to the floor level where you can actually go and check out you know, the African walk and where the tram is. We'll show you where it's at, you know, it's closed, and show you how to get to it. And you can check it out once it reopens and Kuba's done. Now we're on the African loop, the walking trail. This will take you through all the African animals. Uh, it'll pass by the African safari tram. It's closed, it takes you to the lion camp. That loops back around, and then you'll see where the uh, campsites are. You can actually camp here overnight, and we'll show you a little bit about that too as we get closer. All right, here we go. Let's take a look. So here we are on the African Loop Trail. You can walk around, see all kinds of animals. As we get closer to the bigger animals, like the lions and the pumbas, We'll do some more video. Until then, beautiful African loop trail. Check it out and walk it. It's a great, great way to exercise and see some sights. Day out has tuckered him out. Little man. Alright, continue on though. Even though little man is asleep, we're gonna move on to Pumba. 
And as you get closer to it, you can tell when you're getting there because man, the stench is unreal. Pulling around, poop, pee, muddy water. Whew. Let me tell you. So here we go. We're gonna go check out Pumba. We are in Pumba's habitat. thing that stinks worse is a sewer plantation on a hot summer day. Ooh. Let me tell you. Dang. water play area when COVID's not happening hot summer day kids come here and play it's pretty cool so during non-COVID days this is the Africa tram this is where we load up take you on a tram tour show you all the wild animals out there let you see them up close in person now it's just a spot where they pick you up for special trams uh, special tours like behind the scenes and things like that which you can get right here Safari tickets. Check it out, go online. Let's see what they have available. Here we are in Cheetah territory. Pass this land animal. Just gonna check it out, see if they're out today. Sometimes they are, sometimes they aren't. Normally they have a little dog in there with them. It's like a companion for the cheetahs. It's pretty awesome. Check it out. Mom, do you see it? Yeah, it's so cute. Cheetah, cheetah enclosure. Who knows where the cheetah is at? Though. Me personally, I can't wait for them to get the African safari back up because I'd love to take that tram. Such a great tour. You go out there and see all the wild animals. You get to see uh, Gerald, the giraffe. That's, that's what Isaiah calls him. He knows him as Gerald. And uh, here we are now at the lion camp. See if the lions are out. It's my favorite place to go. Let's see what we can find for you. I just can't wait to be king playing in my head. Ah. <laughs> Cheetah Safari. So I guess you can come watch them run and see how fast they can run. This is before the park opens too. Here's what it says. Check it out. come up we're going to show you the roar and snore campground where you can spend the night overnight here in the zoo or i'm sorry in the safari park and you can hear the animals at night see what they do early in the morning so you get to stay in these really cool camps little tents it's pretty awesome make sure you go on their website you can check out how much it costs I recommend it. I personally haven't done it yet, but it's in my future. When I do, I will definitely let you know how it was. From what I've here, it's pretty cool and it's recommended. So this is one of the tents. This is the view you have late at night, early in the morning. Can't beat that. It's pretty awesome. Next closest thing is uh, Disney World. When you stay at the Animal Kingdom Lodge. Roar and snore. Check it out. Uh, here we are by the chubby unicorns. Let's see if we can get closer or look. Look at those guys. Buzz, look at the chubby unicorns.
Save the chubby. You see one of the private tours that you can pay extra for. They dig right up on it. From what I've gathered, I think they're like three to five hundred dollars for a party of six. But if you're interested, they have them. Go on the website, check it out. Look how close you get to go. Wow, look at that, Bubba's chubby unicorns right up on them. So there's the campsite. And right across from the campsite is the chubby unicorns. That's pretty cool. So there's the zip line during non-COVID days. You can zip line right across the plane. You start way up there and just go flying down across all the animals down below you. I definitely want to come back and check that out. As soon as I know it's open, I'll be here and you'll know all about it. And of course the alleys. Hey, that concludes the safari park tour for the day. I do highly recommend this place if you are here in San Diego or actually Escondido. Uh, during COVID right now, so the hours are limited. It's nine to six. Things are closed, such as zip lining, uh, backlot tram tour, uh, most of the enclosures and like the petting zoo and stuff like that. But other than that, it's a great time to be here. The crowds are like minimal. It's awesome. So if you're here, check it out. As always, if you like us, hit like, share with your friends, subscribe. Until the next video, I'm Marcus, TJS1, and I will talk to you later.